Hi, this is Mo with Paul Frederico Photography. Welcome to another episode of Basics. Today I want to talk about two very important factors when doing any type of photography, and that's perspective and composition. You'll see me in this video out in the field because I wanted to bring you along with me and show you what I see when I take photographs. Everybody sees something different, but that's what makes photography unique. Everybody has a phone, everybody has a camera, but it's perspective and composition that makes the difference. In this episode, where I'm taking you is on a trip I did with Covered Bridges. Now I've been working on a book for about four years of Covered Bridges in the United States. There are more than you would think there are. And of course, a couple of years were kind of hampered by this weird thing called a uh, pandemic. That was it, that was it. So I brought you along to New Hampshire. And in New Hampshire, there are quite a few bridges. And you'll see me, you know, looking at the bridge from different aspects. You'll see me maybe, you know, go to one side and then I, I decide mm, that's not really the shot. And then I go to another side and I've got to find where the sun is. So, you know, composition and figuring out that perspective is really, really key. And what better way to show you than on a trip to covered bridges where you're really limited to where you can capture it from, yet getting a good perspective is really important to capturing the essence of these historical architectural wonders. In order to get a low shot, I'm gonna have the camera down way low using the back screen to see where I'm shooting. It makes it much easier to actually get a low shot rather than shooting up like this and getting an awkward shot. You get a much better perspective. Remember, a lot of shooting uh, in places like this is about perspective. Same kind of thing with bird photography, which I'll talk about in another video. But perspective is everything. Right now, I'm standing in front of the Paul Revere statue and the Old North Church is in the background. So this makes for a good composition. Remember, composition is important. So once everybody is out of the way, I'll be able to take a shot with the statue and the Old North Church in the background. There we go. All right. It takes patience to wait and make sure that everybody's out of the way and that you're getting your shot, the shot you want. And co remember, composition is important. It's good to get not just a shot of a statue, for example, but the building behind the statue. Um, something interesting that's happening kind of around what you're doing. All of that is a very, very important. Composition, composition, composition. So this is just kind of a different perspective. It's a nice long bridge with nice lattice work on it. So you get a picture of it with the, with the water. Just gives it a good composition. Again, remember, you're always trying to find a good composition. Uh, you don't want just a photograph of something. You want to tell a story. So part of that story is this little river that is going underneath the bridge, hence the reason for the bridge. All right, so now I'm going to get a different angle because one never knows what angle is going to work the best. And actually, I'm going to bring it down. like that. And then we'll do some from the front as well. So I went angled this uh, this way just to give a different perspective again um, for this bridge. Different, different view. This bridge was built in 1789 and it was refurbished in 1869. So yeah, still pretty darn old. This is a bridge where we can get several different angles. So again, thinking about composition, it's important to remember what angles you're looking for. And I see, even though there's a tree in front of it right here, it's still a really, really nice angle uh, to get a, a photograph of. We've actually got a really nice reflection of the bridge in the water. And that makes for a, a very nice, again, composition because you've got the reflection as well as the bridge itself. The, waters, the water in this particular river at this point seems to be very, very still. So it gives a nice reflection. All right, let's move on. 
So we have a much better view here because we've got the fall foliage as well as a beautiful shot of the bridge and a nice blue sky with some clouds in it. So it's really, it's, it's again about the composition. Uh, we can get rid of the power lines later in post-production. But for now, we have um, a much better, a much more creative uh, view of this bridge with having the, the ability to get that tree in there as well. So this is King's Chapel. I'm going to set up a shot. I'm sitting on the corner, the opposite corner, because it's just a nicer view of the chapel itself. And it was built in the 1600s also. There's a lot of stuff here you can take photographs of. You can get really up close on a grave. You can take scenery of a grave. Either way, there's a lot of stuff to take, uh, really some interesting photographs of. All right, so we've got some really, really picturesque stuff here. We've got a waterfall, as you can hear, and now you can see, and then the bridge um, just behind it with the changing colors as well. So I'm going to actually, I may actually change cameras for this one and go for the really wide angle lens, but maybe I can do it with this one. We'll see. We'll see how that works. I'm going to get a wide angle lens, but first I'm going to do a couple more in here. <laughs> 